by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe. And he will leave no stone unturned in his vicious fight against drug and substance abuse. And let me say we were really commanded to be vicious. We have to end this madness because it's destroying the next generation and we cannot stand by and let it continue. Turning to structure, the National Committee is structured as follows. Number one, there is a National Committee on Drug and Substance Abuse chaired by the Minister of Defense and deputized by the Minister of Home Affairs and Cultural then number two. I you all to leave no, state, no stone attend in our quest for a drug-free society that will form the bedroom for our national vision of attaining a prosperous and empowered upper middle income society by 2030 is enunciated by His Excellency the President, Dr. Edi Mnangawa. The National Committee will continue to provide support to your structures. I thank you, Sia Honga. mental health focal person will need to move from place to place to schools uh, to meet with uh, to meet with the central hospitals uh, to train health workers for that movement to be to be possible we, we need the mobility we need a vehicle a functional vehicle where uh, fewer um, it would also be helpful if we can um, be assisted to expand our workforce, even in the office. At the moment, uh, the establishment at PMD's office is actually 11 people. And this is to look at the whole ministry in Mulawa. Uh, we, 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 we need more people to be able to, to work in the drug and substance abuse amongst other issues in the ministry. So the, wish, the issue of the establishment that we lobby before is, is, also, is also critical. We think that if we get uh, the resources, then we'll be able to be mobile, to do the meetings that we need to do, to teach uh, other health staff that we need to teach and train them. Um, we are at, at the moment also working on the issue of land uh, to establish at least one uh, independent um, Rehabilitation Center. Uh, Dr. Mawere has been very generous to it, say that within Ngucheni complex, he thinks there is land the way we can we, we can construct a, a rehabilitation center. It's a bit of a problem because it's going into the same complex where we are treating mental health issues and there is issues to do with stigma. But this is the land that we have identified, and if we can make use of it. Uh, for me, it is a, it's a, it's a good thing. There are many more things that would need to request, but I think in terms of priority, for, for me, this is what is priority for me. Thank you. 